Welcome to video 16 in a series of introductory videos for the InventorCam CNC programming software. This video's topic is face turning. So face turning operation is really just chewing up the front side of a part and it's one of the more basic tool paths from InventorCam. So let's actually begin by going to setup. I'm going to right click, add turning operation, face. So as always, with any operation inside InventorCam, we'll have the same workflow. We'll start with the geometry. So I'm going to click New, and you'll see that there's a representation of the jaws that we saw when we set it up in video 15. And the stock and the target profiles, again, we generated in video 15. In turning, it's these geometries here, these profiles, that are actually used as the geometries for turning toolpaths. So for facing, I'm just going to zoom in here and grab this line that represents the front face of the part. Now, even though the line doesn't extend to the end of the stock or the inside of the stock, I'm still going to select it because as soon as I accept it, I'll be able to go to Modify Geometry and have it auto-extend to the start and auto-extend to the end. So with that same line, all I'm really doing here is telling InventorCam how deep into the part, how deep in the Z direction I'd like to turn this part. I'll just click on the green check mark there. In terms of tool, I'll just go to select and I'll create my tool. So as we saw in, in video, uh, video two on how we created uh, tools, especially turning tools, we have two types of tools. I'm just going to go with the composite tool today. Okay, and I'm just going to create my tool real quick here. So I'll create a CNMG 432. Okay, and in terms of mounting, we'll actually correct that on the operation side. So click on the green check mark and click right there. So there is our tool. In terms of turning, there is no levels. All there is is really just a safety distance. So this is from the stock or the turn stock, whatever the resultant toolpath, uh, whatever the status of the stock is after all the toolpaths. In technology, you'll see the, the, the control over this toolpath itself. So the majority of turning toolpaths really just happen in the technology section. So we have the ability to do facing on the front and the back. We'll be working off of the current status of the stock. So in this case, this line right here, because we're, at the, we're starting at the very beginning. But in the case later, the updated stock actually drives the toolpath. So the start positions, where the toolpath actually travels, is all dictated by the updated stock. So that's why we have it set to stock. Uh, in terms of direction, our tool is only a one-way tool, so we'll leave it as one way. Rough type is just stairs. Now this really doesn't matter here for facing. We'll actually see what happens when we get into video 17 on how we do turn in. Um, the facing, this will be our step over, and we're gonna leave behind eight thou on that face. Now with the same tool, I'm gonna actually finish that face by clicking on finish, and by doing that, we get our compensation as well. The link is really just the lead and lead out into the operation. So for turning, it's very simple. All it is is just the right safety corner is the approach point. And if we wanted to add in a lead and lead out, we can click on lead in and lead out. And we have the same options we would have with other toolpaths, just normal, arc, and tangent. In this case though, I think from the right safety corner, we probably don't need a lead in. So I'm just gonna do a save and calculate. Typically when you create a turning tool, you got to make sure that the fees and speeds are correct for your machine. So that's basically why under data, it gave me that error. These may be too large for our machine. So I'm just going to shrink these down to a much smaller number. And if I do a save and calculate, we'll see that it calculates. So from our right safety corner starting up there, it's just on the roughing. And if we see, there's an additional pass for the finishing. <clears throat> Any other questions on this or anything else from InventorCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at telecamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.